Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, a product I bought here, uh, which is from Kon. Now, the reason I bought this product is I want to uh, put the 270 degree awning off my GU Patrol onto the Y62 Patrol. Now, the Y62 just has a traditional awning on it, as I don't really use this vehicle um, too much where I need the 270 awning. But I do have a trip coming up where I do am going to need the 270 awning, and I am using this vehicle. So. Anyway, stick around, uh, I'll show you the product. So the product is a um, set of brackets from uh, Kaon, and they fit the ARB base rack, which is the roof rack I have installed on the Y62. So we'll open up the box, see what's in here, and uh, yeah, we'll get this awning fitted up and show you how it, uh, show it how it mounts up to the base rack. All right, so it's the Kaon Universal 270 degree awning bracket set. Comes with three in the pack. I'm not sure if I'll use all three, but is what it comes with. Looks like that's the brackets there. And some more fittings there, which they uh, look like they dovetail onto the ARB system. Uh, pretty detailed instructions actually with some coloured pictures. So that looks pretty good. And yeah, just on there, you can probably see the bracket and sort of how it works. So I'll get this all unwrapped and uh, we'll lay it out here and yeah, see what's involved. All right, so got all your hardware here as well. Nice stainless steel bolts and stuff, which yeah, they look decent quality, which is, yeah, you don't mind paying for it, but it's got that in it. Uh, yeah, got all the little clamps, um, the bracketry, and the uh, base plate for where the awning uh, mounts up, so. Cool, so first thing we do, we'll get this other awning off, uh, get the 270 awning off the GU, and then uh, we'll start fitting these brackets up. So that's the main mounting bracket. Now it sits flush, um, sort of flatways, on the uh, crossbar of the rack, just on the on the inside or outside, whichever way you want to do it. And looks like this just connects sort of underneath, and it locks into the dovetail, just like a sandwich plate. And then the two bolts just go through and lock it onto the rack. So pretty easy stuff. And then yeah, you just got one for the outside, goes through there, and it locks down on the uh, on the outer side dovetail as well. So. Yeah, pretty easy stuff so far. All right, pretty happy with how that uh, just bolted straight on. That's so easy. You know, they've really thought about that one, Kayon. It's solid as too, so just sort of show you how it goes on there. Just two. Um, Allen key head bolts straight down into a um, thread, threaded nut. And then the same again on uh, same again on this one. Yeah, and it's yeah solid as. Didn't even have to tighten it up that much. So yeah, straight on there. So we'll uh, get this other one on down the front. Then we'll start measuring our awning out. All right. Uh, so just going to mount the brackets on now on the side. I'm going to go start off at the highest setting. I think I'm going to need it fairly high because. Um, yeah, the rear tailgate is obviously going to protrude on the awning a little bit. Uh, I have seen what other guys do. They just uh, they can still access the back of the car and they just put like a bit of towel or a bit of foam or something they leave in the car and just sit on top of the tailgate and it just rests on the um, rests on the awning bar or whatever's there. But uh, yeah, I'll probably just put it on the top uh, top setting to start off with, and if I can get it lower, I will. But um, yeah, we'll just start at the top to start off with. All right, that uh, bracket's mounted, and uh, yeah, that's not going anywhere, hey? The old saying, that's not going anywhere. Definitely strong as the car was. I didn't think it was actually going to be, uh, felt real strong, but yeah, once all three of them went in, it's, yeah, it's solid as a rock. It's like it's a part of the part of the roof rack now, so quickly get this other one on, then we'll start measuring the awning. All right, I've uh, got that second bracket on. Easy as. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to measure... Uh, Sort of bolt hole, elongated bolt hole, elongated bolt hole, and uh, gonna go off the back one here and uh, 
see how, see how far out that front one is. But uh, yeah, been a different vehicle, no doubt it'll be a fair bit different. Alright, that's 170 bang on, so we'll just uh, throw the camera around here. Alright, so we just want to measure from bolt hole here and go to 170 up here and that's where I'm going to have to put the new ones in. Alright, uh, so it might be a bit of luck my way. I might have fluked this. Now they give you a uh, different bracket here. I'll just get up on the ladder and show you. Alright, so see it's the same bracket but it just goes on the... Um, inside of the rail like that this one's on the front this one's on the back of the rail uh okay so the distance between here and the elon hole on the other side is nearly exactly the same as what the bolt holes that i've had in the awning already that were on the um old gu so we're gonna mount this on one a bit solider and uh yeah try and fit it up and see how close we are but yeah, I can't see it uh, not working, so that's a bit of luck on my behalf. Alright, uh, the awning's uh, a bit heavy, so I've got Dad here. He's going to help me lift it on. Called in the big guns. So we'll, uh, yeah, lift her up and hopefully this line's up. Alright, Dad just gave me a quick hand there. We lifted it up. I just had to move it, um, just cut the bag, just a little, little split in the bag and move the bolt along. Oh, probably five mil, if that, so... That's worked in really good, so it'll still mount back up to the to the GU if I want to put it back on there. So that's a really big win for me. I'm just running the two brackets to start with to see how it goes. Uh, biggest problem on the GU is where it pivots off the back uh, on the Rhino rack. It seems to flex quite a lot on the back of the Rhino rack. So it'll be interesting to see what the base rack does. But yeah, more than impressed with these brackets. Um, they're amazing. So good solid stuff. I put all the uh, links and uh, everything in that in below, but. Hang around, uh, I'll get this bolted up, and then uh, tomorrow, when the weather's a bit finer out there, we'll uh, go swing the awning out and uh, see what it looks like and give you a bit of a look. Cheers. All right, guys, uh, back out today. A little bit better day today. Uh, sun's out, so I thought I'd just quickly slip out of town here. And, uh, yeah, set her up and um, have a look at these brackets, see if they flex or do anything like that. But, uh, yeah, I think they're going to be perfect, actually, uh, just looking at them. They're... Uh, yeah, definitely high quality uh, material and well made. So, anyway, we'll uh, quickly set this on and up and uh, see what they do. All right, that is as solid as. Where I was having problems on the Rhino rack, I think it was more the roof rack, was up in here. It was pivoting and it would actually would actually move. I hardly got any movement in there now. And that's me, um, you know, reefing on it. I can just see them just flexing. So yeah, more than happy with that. They're solid as. Um, yeah, now for the fun test, let's see if the uh, door clears. I think it's gonna. Look at that, I think we're just clearing it. So, time I pop up some stuff and get some poles down, it's gonna be good. All right, so still just a little bit of flex there, but it's nowhere near as bad as the um, Rhino rack. So I reckon another bracket on there and it might help. But yeah, more than happy with it. Just happy that it actually clears that. So yeah, we'll get a bit more tension on it there and get a bit more taut. And yeah, I'm happy with that. No complaints at all. Alright guys, uh, we'll end that one here. I uh, hope you got a little bit of something out of that. Doesn't seem to be too much out there on fit 270 awnings uh, on base racks. On uh, Y62s with the rear door, so yeah, the 30 second one. Uh, place it about there, it does clear it. You could probably push it back a little bit further and it definitely would uh, clear it with ease. So yeah, thanks for joining us in this uh, short one and uh, we'll see you again on the next one guys. Cheers.